Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a channel about perfume perceptions or olfactory perceptions as you prefer. Uh, today we talk about Angel Iced Star by Mugler. Uh, this is a summer version of Angel. Um, it's been released in 2021, so this summer, and it's a gourmand fragrance. fragrance. I mean, like the original Angel, also this flanker is definitely a gourmand and a very good one. Uh, this is essentially your Pina Colada Angel. It's been created by two very famous perfumers, um, Louis Turner and Quentin Bish. So Louis Turner uh, has uh, created um, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Uh, she is the main perfumer for all the Roberto Cavalli line, so Paradiso Soluto, then the signature of the parfum from Cavalli, uh, Nero Soluto, and you know, all such very nice uh, fragrances. And of course, Quentin Beach is very famous for Delina by Parfum de Marly, and also other creations like One Million for Men uh, for Paco Rabanne, Pure Excess, and so on. Um, so, yeah, it also has created, for instance, uh, um, Nomad by Chloe, but, you know, many more. Um, so, essentially, this is, as I said, a pina colada perfume, and it's perfect summer scent. Um, the main notes are pineapple, coconut, vanilla, patchouli, and praline. Or praline. I'm never sure how you say it. So, anyway... As you can tell also from the notes, it's very, very clear. This is a pina colada perfume. Um, it's very summery. It brightens up summer days. It's refreshing because of the pineapple. It's creamy and comforting because of the coconut, the praline. Uh, they can actually, um, and you can actually tell, yes, you can actually tell there's praline and there's vanilla and coconut. You know, you have this um, original angel DNA um, but it's a pina colada version of Angel and it's perfect for summertime. Um, it can also be used, I think, um, during spring, maybe beginning of fall. You know, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's a bit tropical, so that, that makes it more, you know, on the summer side of things. But, you know, it's a pina colada, so think of when you want to smell as pina colada and, um, you know, you have your answer <laughs> about that. Okay. So I think uh, we can, you know, try it already. So, okay, I think you can see how beautiful this is. It's blue, fuchsia, and emerald, emerald green. Really, really nice. So the sprayer is always the very classical uh, angel sprayer. You know, not the most, not the most convenient one in terms of sprayers but it's an amazing bottle so. so as soon as you spray it there's sparkling pineapple that you know it mothers your it waters your mouth it's really bright and nice and sparkling and yeah think of cutting a pineapple and you know, the smell in the air, it's very realistic. I mean, it's one of the most realistic pineapple smells I've ever smelled. It's done to perfection. Then very slowly, the angel DNA is pushing through. And it, bring, and it brings the creaminess also of the coconut on top of it. So you're, get, you're starting to get this angel pina colada. And this is about how, this, how it stays the whole time. So it opens up with a burst of sparkling pineapple. I think of the pineapple like substituting for the, um, you know, um, classical mandarin and lemon and so on that you you know, actually very often you get the bergamot in the opening of perfume, so think of that. That usually doesn't last long, it really lasts the burst of a moment. And, uh, you know, for and here you get the pineapple instead of the bergamot. 
and then after the initial champagne like bubbling sparkling um, moment happens after that after the pineapple has done it, its sparkling moment then you get the angel coconut piña colada so it's a piña colada with angel on the background it's really nice so now let's talk let's talk performance so everyone knows angel to be a very performant perfume this one is not an eau de parfum this one is an eau de toilette and it does not perform as well as the original angel but it does perform very well despite of being an eau de toilette despite being an eau de toilette it's really it's it's really a good performer so in terms of longevity it does last uh, more than six hours um, for sure six to eight um, on myself um, but the projection is moderate at the very beginning of course it does project but you know with time it is not as strong as the usual angel is so of course you have to expect that the performance is a, you know, a bit less than what you expect from Angel um, but I think it makes sense because it's a summer scent so you don't want it to be overpowering, right? so I guess that's also the rationale behind the choice of making it a bit milder and it's a very, it's very uh, pleasant and whenever you move, you know, also after 5-6 hours you can smell that you have this perfume and the perfume is uh, you know creating this uh, small aura around you and um, even if it's uh, closer to the skin compared to angel you can still smell that it's around you right so it's extremely pleasant i think that's all i wanted to tell you about this perfume i highly recommend it if you are in gourmand perfumes if you love uh, piña colada um, if you love sweet tropical uh, vibes in your perfumes, um, you know it's fruity, it's fruity, it's tropical. It also has uh, lactonic. Yeah, I mean you know like you have the coconut, so that gives it uh, a bit of a lactonic aspect to it. So if you're looking for it, it's not super lactonic like this is a place I didn't put that, but it still is lactonic, you know. So. That's also something to consider if you like it. Of course, it's sweet, especially the sparkling opening with the pineapple is very, very sweet. Uh, and then it becomes more of a creamy cocktail sweet. In terms of um, sweetness, I think it's... Uh, okay, so it's very... So it, it tends to be the type of perfume that people would call as very sweet. However, because it's pineapple sweet, I think that the pineapple makes it, you know, makes it more bearable. So, and also that sweetness, initial sweetness that is very, very strong, does not last too long. And after that, it merges with the creaminess of the coconut and the praline and so on. So, yeah, uh, it's not that type of sweet, fruity perfume that sometimes becomes a bit too much. This is not. Uh, that type. Once again, the pineapple is very realistic, the piña colada is very realistic, so highly recommended for the gourmand lovers. You're not gonna get disappointed if you love piña colada. Uh, for the season, as I said, uh, you know, your call when you want to smell is piña colada. For me, any season would be good, so I'm not gonna give a, a special advice on that. Um, in terms of any questions you may have, uh, don't hesitate to, you know, drop a comment and ask me. I'll try to get back to you with your answer. Uh, let me know if you're gonna buy this one, if you like it, if you've tried it, like if you love other of the Angel series. I also like the original Angel. Um, I also own the Angel Nova uh, and I'm gonna review them all together with the Aura perfumes and uh, also the alien ones um, yeah so if you're interested in those reviews as well uh, check out the channel it could be that I have already published the videos 
um, and uh, you know if you want, if you don't want to miss the those reviews or any other video reviews uh, that I'm gonna publish in the upcoming days just turn on the notification bell um, subscribe to the channel and please uh, let me know if you like the video so just hit like or dislike and see you at my next video yeah bye